Hi guys, so it's time again for another haul video and this one is special because it's my birthday haul video. I recently had a birthday this past weekend and I decided to go out to Chicago with my boyfriend to celebrate and I also did some shopping. Um, I've actually been to Chicago plenty of times before. I used to go to school there and I was there last year for my birthday but I didn't get to spend a lot of time there. I think I was there for like a day and I didn't get to do a lot so I went back this year and um, I was actually kind of sad and down this year for my birthday for some reason, so I wanted to do something low-key with my boyfriend and just not really think about my birthday. But he but actually surprised me and organized a really nice surprise party with all of my close friends down in Chicago. So I had all of them there with me to celebrate and I was really, really happy to see them and I've never had a surprise party so I was really surprised and I was really, really happy to have everyone there with me. and. Um, it was just really nice to celebrate with my friend, and it was really, really nice and sweet of him to organize and put together something like that for me. I definitely felt special, and I was really surprised, so he got some boyfriend points there. But I did do some shopping while I was there, too. I did a lot of shopping. Um, I pretty much shopped every day that I was there, but I didn't purchase as much as I thought I did. My boyfriend, I think, bought more than I did. Um, but I did get some gifts as well, so let me just show you what I got. So I knew I wanted to go to Zara for sure because last year when I went I didn't have a lot of time there and I didn't get a lot of things there so I wanted to go back for sure this year and I was excited to go there again and this year they were having a huge sale when I went so I thought I would be getting a whole bunch of stuff um, but I was really really disappointed when I started looking and um, everything that I looked through, not just the sale stuff, a lot of things that I looked through were damaged or dirtied in some way and I thought that was kind of strange. Um, and I know some sale things are going to be damaged in some way. Um, I actually heard one of the sales associates tell a customer that if it's makeup or whatever, that it should be able to come off. Like reassuring the fact that it's okay, that it's dirtied, and I thought that was really strange for a store like Zara, and this one that I went to was on Michigan Ave. Um, I honestly couldn't find anything that I really loved. Um, I found a few things there that I tried on, and I just didn't have a lot of luck, and I was really sad that I didn't find more than I did last time. I actually went to Zara twice and the second time they restocked some sizes and got a few new things in so I was happy to see that. So I went back and tried on a few of the jackets that I saw the first time. So I ended up picking up this jacket that I really like and I actually wore almost the entire time that I was in Chicago. I really like this because I knew I could layer a lot with it so I picked this up and it goes with like everything. And the second thing that I got were actually on sale and they are a pair of shoes and they look like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. They've got that really cool um, ombre crystal heel. I've seen pictures of these and I've seen them online and I knew they were sold out so I was really surprised to see them at the store on sale. Um, they definitely look like they've been tried on a few times um, but that's okay with me. Uh, because the sole is actually completely fine, um, they've never been worn, so they were originally $129 marked down to $89.99 and then I got them on sale for $25.99. So I actually think these are in fairly good condition um, and I think that I can clean them up a little bit. This strap right here is lifted a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I don't have a problem fixing that with like a little bit of hot glue or something. And these are just really, really cute and they would go with anything. They're just like a cute nude pair of sandals. So I thought this was a really good find. And that is actually all that I got from Zara. After going back a few times and trying on a bunch of things, those are the only things that I left with. But I did get a birthday present from my friend and she actually got me some shoes from Zara as well. So um, these are the shoes that she got me. This is what they look like. It's kind of like a navy patent leather tea strap with a nice wooden heel. And I tried these on, they were perfect size and they actually are very comfortable so I'm really happy about these. I really like them a lot. 
So, the next thing that I got is actually kind of funny. Um, I went to Topshop and I was really excited to go because last year I went and the store wasn't open yet because it was a new store. And I always look online to see what they have, so I was excited to go to the store and shop. Um, but I didn't really find anything that I loved and I was actually really surprised by their prices. A lot of the things were very similar to what I was shopping around for at the other stores, but the prices were crazy. So I didn't really get anything, but I was approached by these two people. Um, and they had a clipboard and a camera and I was kind of caught off guard but they had mentioned that they work for Topshop and they were going around the store taking pictures of customers with great street style. So they actually gave me this ribbon. It's a Topshop style winner ribbon and they asked to take my picture and they posted it on their street style board in the store so I thought that was kind of cool and really nice of them. So Topshop was a little bit of a fail but at least I got a ribbon out of it and my picture taken I guess. So the next place I went to was H&M, and I always find things at H&M, so I was excited to go to this one because I knew that they would have things that's not found at my H&M at home. So I did find a few things that I liked, and I ended up picking up this really cute white peplum top. It looks like this. And I actually love the way this fits me, and I really like the material it's made of. So I actually ended up wearing this on the night of my birthday dinner. And the next thing that I found from H&M were these amazing pants, and they're really sparkly. Um, they've got like a peachy pink underneath, but they were like amazing. They're a little bit funky, but they actually fit me really well. And it's kind of hard for me to find pants that fit well, so I got these. And I think they're actually really cool and kind of different. So, so last but not least from H&M, I picked up a little necklace that looks like this. And this was actually on sale for like $3, so I thought that was a good deal. And I did go to Nordstrom Rack, and I picked up just one little thing that I liked, um, and it's this OPI nail polish. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but it's just gorgeous bronzy gold color with a ton of sparkles. Um, it's called Pros and Bronze. I'll take a picture of it so you guys can see it better, but it's just a really pretty color. Um... And last but not least, one of my favorite birthday presents that I got this year. Um, I actually tried making a video for you guys when I got it in the mail, and I was so excited. I was, like, hyperventilating, and it just didn't work out. But I thought I'd show you guys what I got in anyway. So I got these Jeffrey Campbell shoes, and I actually got the black-on-black -black Lita's that I've been dying for. I've been wanting these shoes forever and I finally got them and I'm so happy that I got them for my birthday. Um, they're perfect. And I brought these along with me to Chicago and they were the most comfortable shoes that I had with me. I actually wore these around a ton and um, they were so easy to walk in. I'm sure a lot of you have seen pictures and heard a bunch about Litas, but they really are amazing shoes. Um, they're super lightweight and really, really well made. These ones are from Karmaloop.com, and it is actually the only place that I could find the black wood and black leather in my size. Um, so I was really happy that they had it in stock. Everywhere else I looked was sold out, and they just are amazing shoes, and I love them so much. Um, I'm not going to go too much much in detail with these. Um, if you guys want a full review on this, I will do one, but I just wanted to show you guys what they looked like. That is it for my birthday haul. So like I said, I didn't buy a whole lot even though I shopped a lot while I was there, but I had an amazing birthday and I was so happy to have all my close friends there with me. Um, I will include pictures of my trip and um, pictures of the things that I purchased on my blog, so be sure to check that out, but I hope you guys enjoyed the haul and I will see you guys next time. Bye!